Lucy's all. Hi, welcome everyone. Greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you that take the chance to check out the videos, the research, the drama. Oh, always a pleasure. My name's Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Canada. I have a 14 inch telescope, other devices, infrared cameras. I'm capturing UFOs in the sky, real UFO videos. And please take the time, those of you just arriving, to subscribe and to take the time after you looked at the video, of course, to subscribe. If you agree that my research may just be legitimate. These are the two sunspots today um, that I filmed early this morning, actually 10 o'clock. Not early, early, but early enough, considering I went to bed late. And a really cool way of seeing the sunspots. And we're going to zoom in and I'm going to clarify it enough for us to see. And you know what I do, try to get in as close as I can without it being ridiculously over pixelated and we're going to talk about some of those ufos that i caught beside the sun listen it's scary because the triangular craft or anomaly that i caught was on a trajectory straight across the sun very fast ultra rapidly fast while we're looking at these sunspots here and um it's scary because none of those craft are supposedly real out in space. They don't exist, right? Big alien spaceships or, you know, like the Enterprise, for example. But there are some UFOs out there that are big enough. So, And if those alien craft are not human, where are they from? Who are they? Can't help but wonder. Are they here to help us? Are they just here to observe? Have they always been here? Have they already come down to Earth? Obviously, like many of you think, like me, in theory, they're probably already inside of Earth or maybe even on the surface of Earth. Antarctica, we can name many places. Nevada, hidden bunkers. <laughs> so how is this going to affect La Palma volcano? How is it going to affect the weather once again on Earth. We saw some flooding the last few solar flares, which I do believe are related. We know this is definitely not a satellite. We know it's definitely not debris because it's on a straight trajectory. Also, the object or vehicle or craft is stabilized in its trajectory as it's going by the sun at a fast pace. So who is it? Who are these craft? Who's inside of them? Who's controlling them? It makes no sense that they would be human right because have we built spaceships already are we driving around in spaceships most likely we are but still most likely these are alien craft or they could be satellites they could be anything top secret maybe some human projects but i highly doubt it so when i see something like this and i say it's a comet because it has wings and it has a tail it doesn't mean it is it could actually be a craft now couldn't it Objects that go by the sun rarely make it by the sun. If they are close to the sun and they're small enough, you'll see it, they'll break up. And this was pretty large anyways. But something as big as a planet might not break up and you will maybe get the chance to see it go by the sun without um, breaking up. But I will show you the closest view of any planet-sized object spiraling towards the sun that I actually caught and I'm going to show it as 
close as I can and also as close as I ever have. And I want you guys to let me know what you think. It's literally a big-ass planet-sized object spiraling right towards the sun. It maybe even hit the sun. Who knows? I mean, um, you know, you be the judge. I'll show you. So what's this object? Now, what the hell was that? There was a record number of asteroids seen whizzing past Earth in 2020. Despite the pandemic, disruptions, everything, astronomers detected thousands of previously unknown near-Earth asteroids last year. Check this out. A 340-meter-wide space rock named Apophis whizzed safely by Earth on March 6th. The next time Apophis is supposed to come back to Earth is in 2029. Won't be so uneventful. Apophis will come within 40,000 kilometers of our planet, skimming just above the region where some high-flying satellites orbit. It will be the first time that astronomers will be able to watch such a big asteroid pass so close by Earth. I'll also be watching. Can you imagine how lucky I was to be able to capture this? Especially that I was not even on the sun yet. I had just placed the sun in the screen. And as I walked away, of course, it waddled and went down lower. And I was off of the sun. The sun was about to rise up, as it did. But here, the chance of a lifetime being able to see something like this. That's an object that is pretty large. You obviously agree with me. It's not a bug and look just like in a movie it catches on fire as it goes by it gets black as it approaches the sun and crosses over the sun or between earth and the sun and how is this going to affect the weather here on earth as the sun is getting more and more active i'm telling you we're going to see more earthquakes we're going to see more of everything if of course and only the sun persists in becoming more and more aggressive I notice, and I'm sure you all have, the weather here on Earth, just over my head, is completely different as to five years ago. Here's an ultra rapid, ultra fast UFO. Looks like a triangular object with wings of light. And can you see how the wing on the right is a lot more pronounced than the wing on the left? It really, really boggles my mind that these objects exist and that they're outside of Earth. Seeing it between the sun and Earth, can't help but wonder, is it close to the sun? And if it is, what are they doing? There could very well be wars out there if we're seeing these ships. This, which again, I consider as possibly being debris, might not even be debris, but it sure does look like it, we're seeing big pieces, which what looks like hoses or tarps. And why do I say that? Because we've heard NASA mention that before. But in reality, they say the Dark Knight is a tarp and looks like a, sh a ship. But what is this that's loose in space, seen in infrared over my head? And check this out. We're going to go see also very large um, ship-like parts or somebody said the satellites. The problem is satellites don't look like that. They're not low in orbit unless it's coming down in orbit. This is next to the sun. We could also see it catching on fire. Look at the nose as it's going across the sun from north to south and changing directions. And you can even see some fire. I'll ridiculously zoom up just enough for us to see that billowing light at the end as it's coming across the sun. I didn't think it was possible to show this surface um, with even less pixelation. And, well, if you remember last video, ta-da, there's a lot less pixelation here. Brings it down a little dimmer. We can still see the lights just as intense as they were before. So now, if you're not afraid, or first of all, do you understand what you're looking at? You're looking at a UFO leaving either the interior or the surface in darkness 
on the moon, inside of Merfecanitatis. Yes, inside of Merfecanitatis on the southern part. These UFOs, imagine them coming to attack Earth. Seriously, could you imagine a UFO fleet at that speed whizzing by across certain points and just boom, 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 bombing everything? It would be ridiculous. So obviously, just taking a guess here, going out on the limb, I really don't think these are human. <laughs> They're going very fast. They're Listen, I, I have some intelligent people that commented on these videos and told me, Bruce, um, I'm no genius, but I guarantee you one thing, their heads would turn to mush. Flying at that speed, anyone inside a vehicle flying at that speed. Screw inertia. This is fast. Cause the slow just coming soon. The slow just coming soon. 